do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we got a really cool PS2 related tutorial today. This is from my viewer subscriber request. And what we're gonna to showcase today is how you can share PS2 games over SMB or in a network that's stored on a USB thumb drive or a USB hard drive that's connected to your computer or maybe you have a laptop and then you have an ethernet cord that goes from your computer or laptop straight to your PS2. And then using OPL, setting up the network settings correctly, it will be able to detect your PC or your laptop sharing those PS2 games that are located on USB. Does that make sense? If not, hopefully this video will put some sense into this topic. So first thing we want to do is let's make sure that our network settings is set up correctly. Um, I'm using Windows 10. If you have any issues with Windows 10 and SMB, I'll have a link in the video description for some workarounds and maybe I'll talk about that in a future video tutorial. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is let's go into control panel. So under control panel, I'm just going to go to category view and we're going to go to network status and tasks. On this particular window here, we can go to change advanced sharing settings and let's go ahead and check the sharing settings. Um, you can go ahead and follow along for what I have on my computer. So basically for this, I have this turned on, I have this turned on, and then under guest or public current profile, this is on, this is on, and then all networks, I have it on, 128-bit uh, encryption, and password protect sharing is off. Okay, so that's one part. Second is, let's go ahead and set up a static IP address for your ethernet, um, port on your computer or laptop. So we're gonna go to change adapter settings and over here is my PS2 connection to my ethernet. PS2 is not on at the moment, but it will be uh, pretty soon here later on. So what I'm gonna do is go to properties, right click, go to properties, and then under TCP IPv4, right here, go to properties, and this is what I manually set up as my IP address. So for my computer here, I manually set it up as 192.168.2.1, subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 0, and everything else I left it blank, that's A-OK. -okay. okay, so the network part of it is done, cool. Next is we're gonna set up our USB sharing settings. So I have a USB thumb drive that's plugged into my computer right now. And for purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume you already know how to set up your games in terms of installing games to your USB thumb drive or hard drive properly. If you don't know how, see my PS2 playlist. I have various tutorials on this topic. Anyways, um, let's show you how to share this properly. So I'm going to right click. So let's assume you got everything on your root. Everything is set up correctly. So I'm going to right click on my thumb drive here go to properties, and then I'm gonna go to the sharing tab. Under sharing tab, we're gonna to go to advanced sharing, and then here, you can go ahead, click on share this folder, and give it a name. So I already gave it a name earlier called PS2 SMB, okay? And then you can click on add, and it should be the only thing here, for example. Then you can go to permissions, and here I have everyone checked, and then all this allow for full control, change and read is all, uh, checked and then say okay apply okay and then that's pretty much it and you're good to go so how do we double check this so what I want to do is we have to set up the correct settings network settings on the PS2 so I have Ob Studio here I'm gonna turn on my PS2 and then we're gonna be good to go so one second okay so let's go ahead and turn on some audio and let's do this and let me go full screen here. So full screen. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go to open PS2 loader. And then I wanna go to the network settings on OPL and show you what my current settings are. You can go ahead and copy it if you wish or you can change it accordingly for your own network here. And because I have my settings um, for OPL to automatically load from ethernet, we can clearly see right here, this is the ethernet tab and it automatically detected the two games I have currently installed on my USB flash drive. Anyways, if I press uh, start and then I go to network settings, 
here is my setting. So advanced options off, ethernet link mode is auto. Here it is static IP address. So for the PS2, I gave it a 192, a 168, a 2.2, right? And then for the mask is 255, 255, 255, zero. The gateway is the IP address that I gave my PC. So in this case is 192, 168, 21. And the DNS server, um, I kept it the same. So 192, 168, 21, I don't think it really matters, but that's what I did. So down here for SMB server, address type is IP. Address is whatever static IP address you gave your PC. In my case is 192.168.2.1. The port, 445, leave it alone. The share, this is where you give it the name that you just gave in Windows. So in my case, I call it a PS2 SMB. So that's what we want. If you have a different name like, um, you know, PS2 or, you know, PS1, whatever, just make sure the naming convention matches exactly here. Under username, Call it guest, it could be all capital letters, it could be capital G, lowercase u-e-u-e-s-t. I don't think it really matters. You want to make it easier on yourself, just keep it all capital. So capital guest. And then password, just leave it empty. So I'll say not set, you're good to go. And then say reconnect, right? And if everything works, you'll see your game show up. And don't forget, press start and go to save changes. Otherwise, you're gonna to to redo your network settings. So now, when I boot up my PS2 and go to OPL, under my settings here, I have it told Ethernet device start mode, auto, default menu, Ethernet games, and we're good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and load a game, just an example here. So basically, to recap, we have a USB device, in my case, it's a thumb drive, connected to my PC. I have PS2 games on there, I shared the, the drive basically gave it a share name, PS2 SMB. We set up a static IP address on the computer. We double check the sharing settings on the computer. And then on PS2, under OPL, under the network settings, we also made sure we gave the PS2 a static IP address. And then we also made sure it knew what is the static IP address of the PC. And then from there, OPL knows, okay, um, I know where your PS2 games are located on the network. It's from this static IP address located on your computer or laptop, actually, or whatever the case may be. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Like I said, if you have issues with the network side, I will have a link in the video description for troubleshooting topics. Otherwise, this is a good way to play your PS2 games. Maybe you don't have enough space on your main computer, hard drive, but you have a lot of space on an external device. So, but you don't want to use USB on the PS2 because the USB on the PS2 is, you know, 1.1. It's sort of slow. But the network method, it's awesome. And that's what I recommend. So that's today's video, PS2 video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.